Hello ladies and welcome back to my channel. For anyone who's new, my name is Olivia and in today's video I am going to be trying really really hard to recreate yesterday's eye look. Um, totally didn't know how it would turn out so I didn't bother filming. Big big mistake. So today I'm going to attempt to um, to recreate that and um, do some sort of fun head wrap today. All right so Products I used, um, I did use quite a few different palettes yesterday because, um, again, I was just playing around. So uh, I grabbed, it's I think it's four palettes here. Um, have the Juvia's Place Nubian Royal palette. It's a bunch of purples. I have the Juvia's Place Violets. It's the Violets palette. I have... Um, the Juvia's Place Walhalla, Walhalla 2 palette. Oh. For there. Um, now, obviously I didn't use every single shade in all of these palettes that I'm showing you, but um, I picked and chose a few di different ones from each palette. And I also used the Blowing Smoke, Blow In Smoke, excuse me, from, oh, you get to see my mirror, um, from ColourPop. Okay, now the uh, liquid lip that I used was kind of cool. It is Stay Matte Liquid Lip Color from Rimmel. It's this really nifty gray color. Um, I also used, if I have it still laying here, somewhere in this pile of stuff, there is a lip liner that, oh, there it is, that matches. Um, it's a, a NYX lip liner and it's black. Whatever color it says it is, it is black. It's a black color. Blackberry is what it says. Okay. All right. So it's a wee bit hot in here Whew. and my, uh, my ginormous shaper isn't helping me much. So I should have put on a smaller shaper, but okay. So get that all out of the way. Make sure there's no hair coming out. Okay, what I'm going to start doing is using the eye primer. I didn't do this before getting on camera this morning. So I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills eye primer. Looks like this. This is the one I picked up at Ulta. A little dab here. Okay. And a little dab over here. No, I did run it underneath a little bit. Now I'm going to be taking my brush, which is right here, and I'm going to be spreading this out. Just Same over here. I think I used a little bit too much. Yeah, just a wee bit too much. Okay, now I'm gonna take the beauty sponge and dab it. Okay, so what I'm gonna start out with is a deep color in the violets it's this color here and i'm going to be doing just a just above the crease line on each eye um, it's going to look a little dark at first but it will work it, it it will work out all right that's not it that's not it there you are okay Remember, these are highly pigmented, so. It's best to start out with just a little bit at a time and build it up. It's easier to add more than it is to take some off. Thank <laughs> you. 
<clears throat> and you have to please forgive my hands for their shaking today. I'm having a bad nerve day. Got my cutie patootie in the chair next to me. Little Luna Fish. Micah is downstairs sleeping on the velvet. I have to wash the whole the whole five yard piece because he's gotten his fur all over it. And I, if anybody's worked with velvet before, once there's fur on it, it sticks like glue. So, all right. <clears throat> Now, to get the angle, okay, here we are. I've got a card that the cats play with, um, just a business card, because, yeah, I, um, I hold it up next to my eye, like so, in an angle. And then I can see it's over a little bit, but I can see where to um, take that off. I do the same thing over here, trying to get the same angle. And it kind of looks like that to begin with. Now I do have to, because it's distracting me. Okay. Sneaking that up slightly. Same here. Okay, so that's what I've got to start out with. It's not perfectly even on both sides. Um, let me touch up this side here just a little bit just to get it more pigmented right in here. Okay, that looks about right. Okay, so now I'm going to be taking <clears throat> a taking this kind of flat brush. It's not super floofy, but it's not really, really um, hard. And then I'm going to be dipping into this purple and this purple and then combine them. And then I'm going to go just above and tapping it on. this on the camera it's not showing too much difference but it's uh actually pretty like ultraviolet it's pretty cool okay do the other eye must be even bit more outside okay so that's right here nice big 
fluffy brush. And I'm going to be dipping into this light color and this light color together to do above and blend out to the eyebrow. Just blending out nicely. Okay, now the other eye. When I was doing this yesterday, I wasn't quite sure the look I was I was gonna get, so there are probably some steps I could have uh, could have skipped, but um, just doing it the exact way I did as far as I can to get. So when I first put on the the purples, it was just so bright and like oh my gosh, I had to blend it out to get it a little bit more. Um, muted. I didn't want it so overpowering. That's the best way to put it. I didn't want it to be that bold. Okay, there we go. I think that's good. Nice and blended out. Okay, and I'm just going to do cut crease. Try not to put too much on because I have old lady wrinkly eyeball, eyeball covers. Um, my eyelids are a little, a little wrinkly. And I don't want it to settle too much into those um, fine lines. Just tapping it out. Same thing again on this side. One side is always easier and it tends to be my right hand side because I'm right handed. So I always start with the left that way I don't get, you know, it's, I can finish up with something easy. Now I'm going to give it a little tap out with, with my sponge. I do have a smaller one somewhere. But like most things, cats get a hold of them. And it's a new toy. And, it, and when they're nice and clean, they don't hurt them any. So, okay. Now for the inside, I went into the Blow and Smoke palette. And I used this, it is called Starstruck. It's this um, silver color that's directly in center. Okay. And um, the combination of full metal and smoke, smokini, I put right here. 
and then I worked out to um, a black mixed with a purple on the outside. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start backwards from what I just told you and work from the outside in. That should be pretty easy. Pretty easy. It should be easier than the way I did it yesterday where I had to go over the silver a couple of times because I did it backwards. So let's grab our friend here. My friend, the crease brush. And I'm going to go the dark purple that I used before on the right here mixed with a wee bit of the black. It's called Let's Do It. Not here. Not a lot because just like the Juvia's Place, and I got a lot of fallout from that, just like the um, Juvia's Place, this ColourPop palette tends to be very pigmented. Just a little bit. And then we're going to do it for on this side. Must be even. Okay. Okay. So we got that started. Put that away. Then I'm going to, this is the one I used, a large kind of flat brush into the Smokini and the Full Metal and just kind of bring it in. so because I want a lot of that silver I loved I love that silver so it's like right when I'm looking straight the right down the center of my my pupil is where I stop with that that darker like gunmetal color let's get it even here All right, now, now that I have that, I'm going to grab my small brush and go into that center color, starstruck, and just apply. This should stick just fine. Some of the other brands, I have to use a glitter type glue product, but this one totally holds. It looks like aluminum foil. It's kind of cool. Okay, and then we'll do the other side. And then we'll touch up with more purple. And I drew, and I don't know if you can see this, but at the top, when I put this on, I drew this out past the kind of um, go almost to the edge. Just, it's just something I did. I don't know. I liked the way it looked. It was totally by accident yesterday, um, but I kind of liked it, so I left it. All right, now I'm taking, this is the brush I just used taking the opposite end, which is super cool. It's like a blending, I think it's called a blending brush. And I'm blending out just like so, and just like so, just lightly. So it gives me that look. Okay, now I'm gonna go back in and darken up the purple a little bit. It's just um, this kind of 
small brush. And I'm gonna tap into the, the deep purple color from this palette. This, this color here. And then I'm going to just bring in here. Like so. Same with the other side. And another one of these kind of brushes. I'm going to go back into these two colors here and just a little bit of liner touching up. In here like so. Okay, so I have that, and you can see. Now what I'm going to do is add a little bit of sparkle to the outside of the eye with the, uh, with the palette. It's palettes. I like to combine colors. Um, I don't know, you probably don't need to, but I like to. So I'm gonna grab my handy dandy crease brush again, and then I'm going to take this color here and this color here and combine them. So I think it gives me the, the color that I want for a little bit of sparkle out here. So I feel like it um, lightens up that black color a little bit. It's not as crazy in your face. What I just did to change it up is I used this color and this color. Okay. And I think the top of my eye is done. I'm going to do a little bit of liner, liquid liner on the, this one is not my favorite. It's just what I have until it's gone. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna be replacing with this with something else, but this is the Scandalize from Rimmel. It's not my favorite, li like I said, it's not my favorite um, liquid liner. It's what I have right now, but um, it's not horrible. It's for an inexpensive, um, drugstore one, it's pretty okay. Um, I just think it dries up too quickly and this front piece flexes a little bit too much. There's a, there's gotta be a happy medium between the flex and stiffness of the, of the applicator. Otherwise, it's a hot mess. And I want it really thin in this area here. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, so it's it's very, very probably not even noticeable on camera, but um, I've given myself a little bit of definition on the inside. I just don't want a big thick chunk of black to take away from the silver. I just wanted it a big enough to uh, to accentuate without, yeah, taking away from it. Okay, so yesterday what I did, and then this is I'm doing this differently because I wasted a bunch yesterday because I drew on beginning the shape that I wanted. And then I ended up covering it up with all the other products and it was like kind of stupid. So today I did this one after I put on. Okay, I think that looks really good. You can, and I think you can see the difference. It's just that, that extra little tiny bit of eyeliner in there did. Okay. All right, now for the underneath, you could totally just leave it like this and that's kind of cool. Um, but I did the underneath of the eye yesterday. Um, I dipped into this Wahala 2 palette for that. Um, I started off first by taking this color here underneath to begin um, using the, here we go, using this brush here and just the tip of it, not the, the very top of it. Um, all right. So dip right into that. And and I didn't take it all the way across. I took it only to about here. because I finished off the inner with silver. Okay. Now this is bothering me. I have a spot on this side that's really driving me crazy. It's a little, a little off. So I'm going to, uh, Fix that. Grab a little bit of the stick here. Thought I might have enough left inside of the brush. Just to fine tune that a little bit. So probably do the same thing to the other side. Okay. Just to give it a little bit sharper. Like so. 
Okay. Okay, now back to the color. Okay, so I'm gonna finish this up with this purple color, this one right here. And then I'm going to move on to the other palette. Okay, even this looks amazing. I could have stopped here, but I was playing, so I didn't. Um, now I'm going to take the same brush. I just wiped it off onto my lap cloth, not lap cloth, my washcloth, just to keep in my lap. Um, I'm going to take this color here and this color here. It's the Amiibo and the Bold and put them to mix them together and draw along the same area that I did with the, just did with the purple. It's just slightly underneath. You can see that, I think. And that kind of gives me that, it, when the light hits it a certain way, it look, gives you a pop of blue in with that, that purple. So it's kind of an interesting, um, an interesting look. It's not just monotone, it's not just purple. So it's, it's kind of cool. So I'll do that one more time just to make sure I've got plenty of saturation. I'm going back into the Wahala 2 palette, and I believe it was Ambitious is what I used for the underneath here. It's very similar to the one from the Blow and Smoke palette, but just slightly lighter, slightly, ever so slightly lighter. And then just stab myself in the eyeball. That's always wonderful. Okay. See, like that. I'm going to put a little bit more on this side. Like so. Okay. And that's the eye look. Now I am going to go in and do my eyebrows. I did color them in with a little bit of dark gray. I know it looked black yesterday, it was kind of cool, but I used the dark, um, it's called sl Slated in, in this palette. That's this guy here for yesterday's eyebrow look. Um, and mascara. Now I did a little bit of fun things with the mascara. I did purple on the bottom, which this one is a NYX Worth the Hype is it here? mascara and it's in a purple color. Now I do like the brush on this particular mascara. Less light, less clumpy than um, some of the other ones. And since I'm just doing the bottom lashes, I don't need to redip. Now I thought about doing um, purple on both, but I liked the purple on the bottom and then um, I did a black on the top. Um, this one is the Essence Lash Princess um, False Lash Effect Mascara. 
This one I always have to have my spoolie handy um, because I'm not, I'm, I, I think it's user error, but I always get Tammy Faye Baker eyelashes when I use it. And where's my spoolie? I'm gonna need it anyway. Um, I'm gonna need you for the lips. Um, did it disappear? There it is. Okay, spoolie. Um, but I'm, I'm, I don't know, I say this all the time, child of, you know, a, a very young child in the 80s. Seeing, um, seeing the really, really crazy tarantula legs kind of mascara with all the clumps just was, it, it, it was something. Okay, so it's a little bit clumpy. I'm gonna have to go back with, over it with my spoolie, but I'll do this one. I think it's the, honestly think the formula is really great. The applicator is kind of sucky. Uh, that's, that's my, I love, love, love the formula. The applicator should be a little bit floofier um, because it, it, the, the way this is designed with those short bristles that are, they fan out a little bit, but if the product gets in there and it's hard to get off cleanly in the cap. So it stays some, too much of the product stays on the brush and or the applicator and it gets clumpy that's i think that's the issue that I, so let's not stab myself in the eyeball all right now i'm gonna use this fully to fix this It's part of my obsessiveness that I want them to be clump free and not all stick together so that I only have four eyelashes. Now, I think because of my twitchiness, I got a little bit of mascara on the silver. I have to fix that right quick. Little dab in the... There, that covered that right up. Don't even notice. Okay, so there are my eyeballs. I love this color, um, the way this, this color scheme makes my eyeballs look really gray. It's insane. I have, I do have blue eyes. They're like blue gray. Um, but when I put on any kind of black or silver or even the purples, my eyeballs look super, super gray and it's so cool. Um, but just a, just a weird thing I noticed when I was putting on these, these colors and taking photographs that they look really gray. So, all right. Now when it comes to the eyebrows, just get those done really quick. Okay. Now, when it comes to the the blush, I just used um, this NYX blush. I did receive this as a gift um, in one of my Facebook groups. So that's kind of a beautiful color. It's um, it says peach. It's PB06 peach. Um, doesn't look very peachy to me. It looks like a really beautiful pink bright pink so i'll take their word for it that it's peach but all right i'm just doing a little a little tiny bit out here uh, on my cheekbone this is my cheekbone right here that's it just and then up around slightly around my eyeball just like that 
that's it that's all I'm doing I'm going to blend that out with the floof brush because that was a little bit heavy handed on the cheekbone just like so this is really pigmented blush this is insanely pigmented I do like this. Of course, my my skin tone is pretty light, so anything this bright is kind of goes on kind of heavy and with just a little bit of product. So it might just be that my skin is too pale for this color, but I like it. All right, now I'm going to do a overall with the setting powder, just very lightly. And I like it. I can blend this a little bit. It's happy. On my nose. Kiss my forehead. Okay, that's it. Put the lid back on there. Now, I think what I did yesterday too, that I just did not do today, I should do it because it gives it the same effect, is I used this sun-kissed finishing powder over top. Um, this is also a NYX product that I received in a Facebook group. Another big floof brush, just all over. It gives a little bit of a, a glow to my skin. I actually got a, a little bit of a tan while I was on vacation and it was kind of cool. Never, ever, never do I ever um, tan. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh. Him's just squeaking and it's so cute. I'm rolling over and in sleep. Okay, I think I could get a, I think I can spin you so you can get a clear. Nope. Let's see. There him he is. That's so damn cute. There goes my boy. Anywho. <laughs> He's so cute. But, um, okay. Let's get to the lips, which I did something extra weird with, and it's kind of fun. It turned out well yesterday, um, for about four hours. And then I ate and lipstick came off, but until I ate, it worked out really well. Okay. Now I am, the products I'm going to be using, where did you go? There you are. Again, this NYX Blackberry, yeah, Blackberry um, lip liner. I've got the matte, um, the Stay Matte lipstick, liquid lipstick from Rimmel. And that one is, does it say what color you are? It's called Shadow. It's number 850 Shadow. And then um, a little bit of gloss. This one is Juvia's Place. And it is Disco Fever. So it's kind of fun. And then what I did that I don't normally do, I don't know if you're supposed to, I did it anyway, is I took from here, the Valhalla palette, um, I took some of this glitter because I don't use, I don't typically use glitter around my eyes because I get it inside of my eyes every time and it's painful so and very uncomfortable. So um, I use it other places. Um, so I took this and I tapped a little bit on the pouty part of my lip and it was kind of cool. So I added a little bit of sparkle. It, 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 it was like a disco ball, but it was kind of cool. Anyway, getting to the lips. I'm going to pop this open and draw on my lips.
this is the time when the shaky shakiness gets on my nerves because I need to have precise lines and um, the shaking in my hands is kind of annoying at this point. Also, the longer I do something, the longer I'm doing a task, the worse the shaking gets. So please bear with me just a little bit longer. My doctor actually gave me a medication for it, um, a blood pressure medication, believe it or not. Um, but when he gave it to me, I was still running Alyssa back and forth to school and doing stuff, and I still needed to be available to for for her. Um, and I he's that he made the mistake of telling me that it would probably make me dizzy for the first few days, and there was no way, no way that I could do everything I needed to to get done and still take this medication. So I never bothered to take it. And um, it's kind of one of those things. Now I could probably, now I could probably go for it, but it's, I'm so used to it now. As frustrating as, frustrating as it is. I think I got my lips even ish and then I'm going to put on the liquid lip for an inexpensive liquid lip this one isn't bad it doesn't have, I've tried a lot of different liquid lipsticks um, and it doesn't have, it has good staying power. That's, that's the first thing. It's got a nice creamy texture. It's got a cool applicator, which is slightly different than the ones that are shaped like um, hooves. I don't know. They're weird. They have the whole little hole in the center. Um, I like the, the applicator on this one. Um, and it doesn't have that really chemically, when you're breathing in, you don't get that chemical taste. To it so I had one I, I put on one time one time and I took it back and was like I've never taken back a um, makeup product before that or since but that liquid lipstick was so horrible that I just no it was too too expensive to just pitch in the trash can and eat and eat the cost But I needed a I needed a true black lipstick, and uh, you would think in October that you'd be able to find a true black lipstick from many different brands, but sadly no. Now I don't, I didn't overdraw my lips or anything because I think I like the shape of my, my lips, that nice small on the top and a little bit of pouty on the bottom. I'm good with that. All right, now let this dry a little bit. I'm going to take a little bit of glitter glue. I know that's weird, but I'm going to do it because it helps to stick the glit, stick the glitter. Okay. Just right here. And that was just a teeny tiny little bit. This glitter glue is Too Faced and it came in a, I'm trying to think of what it came in. There was a bunch of stuff in a kit that this came in when I ordered from the Too Faced website, this came with the stuff that I ordered. It was like the free gift. It didn't, it sort of didn't make sense for what I ordered, but 
it was free and I use it. So, all right, now I have this color here. I'm just going in with my, my fender, just pressing a little bit like so. And tapping it on. Now I'm gonna have to do a little, a little bit more. I want to be careful not to get it all over. Um, it's just that little bit of shine in my pouty part of my lip. So draws draws attention to to my pout. All right, a couple seconds, and then I'm going to apply this. Now. just dabbing it And the, this has some glitter in it, so it's kind of cool to get the little bitty glitters around the rest and have that big, big glitter on, right here on the center. So that's it. That's my makeup look from yesterday.